Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel and to a new vlog. My name is Anna, if you guys are new. And I wanted to pull out the camera today and just start a new vlog. It's been a couple days since I vlogged. I honestly, the last time you guys saw me, I was in Gainesville, so I'm back at home. Um, so it's definitely been an adjustment, but we're here. I've set up my little like vanity area and I'm just like excited to be here. I'm embracing the situation and what it is but it also is Valentine's Day, it's February 14th. And so I wanted to just spend the day with you guys because it's my first Valentine's Day in like three or four years that I've spent it like by myself because Connor's up at school and I'm here and I had to take care of my little brother this weekend because my parents are away on a trip, which is like the first time they're ever going on a trip, just them two in my entire life so they definitely deserve it so i'm here taking care of him just like full time and like taking him to school and stuff the only thing that i know that i have to do today is i want to sit down and apply to some jobs just because i'm on the job hunt and so i'm just trying to apply to as many places as i can and then also i have to go to the mall to pick up my dad's suit for the wedding which is honestly next weekend which is insane and crazy how fast time has gone by so you have another atlanta vlog to look forward to i'm gonna vlog the whole wedding weekend i think so i'm really excited i'm flying this time i'm not driving i'm pretty much done with my makeup and getting ready for the day i showered got ready Clearly, I'm feeling the Valentine's Day vibe today. I also got the little Alex Earl light and I've been using it to film my little TikTok get ready with me. It's been the best $40 I've spent, honestly. It just makes the lighting look so much better and I can use it for vlogging too. But since I did my makeup and it's very pinky and glittery, I figured I would try out my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara today because I still haven't even tried it out and I've been wanting to try it out on camera with you guys. So I figured I would do like a little first impressions portion in today's vlog and so i'm just gonna curl my lashes like i normally would and then we'll apply the mascara and see what the rage is all about so i'm just gonna apply it the wand is like very weird looking definitely not like your traditional mascara wand i also picked it up in the shade black brown so it's not gonna be like a very black color I don't even know if I'm applying this right. I threw away the packaging, which honestly was my mistake. It feels very weird applying just because of the wand, but honestly, my lashes are looking very but honestly, my lashes are looking very good. This is my little outfit for Valentine's Day. Just a little pink crop just to get into the Valentine's Day spirit and my Abercrombie pants. I literally wore these two vlogs ago and I honestly need to get another color because this, these are like one of my favorite pants. So definitely need to pick up another one of these in another color. I had to wait till I finished driving to prop you guys up and my camera not moved because I don't have my tripod in here. But since I was already gonna be here for picking up my dad's suit, I don't really have anything for Connor for Valentine's Day yet, just because I knew that we weren't going to be celebrating today. He is coming home this weekend though, which I'm really happy and excited to see him. It's been like two weeks since I've seen him and he had this trip planned like beforehand so i'm sure like we'll do like a dinner or something together but i want to have something to give him i am going to order him dinner tonight and have it delivered to his apartment from one of his favorite places in gainesville it's like what i can do at a distance so i just need to make sure he's going to be home at that time or like he'll be home like around that time when it's gonna get delivered and i wanted to make him like a cute little basket because it's always nice to open something up i might pop in here and see if i can find like a t-shirt or something and then i'll go to target and get like the actual basket and like little candies and stuff or like some of his favorite things to fill it with i've even gotten him like body wash or skincare in the past just because he won't spend money on this skincare and i feel like if i get it he'll use it so i think that that's what i'm gonna do and also since i'm spending valentine's day by myself i figured we could just go in and see if i find anything at sephora and you know just really embracing the self-love i also need to get lunch so i figured i would eat out today just for my lunch 
and honestly that's really it this is the fit i don't know if you could see it really well in that last clip but just have a pink top on really embracing the pink vibe and then these abercrombie trousers which i do really need to get another pair so i'm just gonna go in see what i find and i might sit at this starbucks or go to another coffee shop until my brother gets out of school and kind of sit and edit my get ready with me that i filmed on tiktok and also um just start applying to some more jobs i haven't really done that i've really just had a slow morning really enjoyed doing my makeup which I really like how it turned out. I just think it looked really, really good and glowy. I like the foundation. I used the NARS Light Reflecting. It's a little more glam than what I do on the everyday. So it, I just feel like I'm like very ready and like look like too much makeup sometimes, honestly. And this is like not even half of what I would do at one point in time, like in high school. I would do pretty much this every single day, like eyeshadow and everything. So it's funny to see how much like your makeup style has changed throughout the years but let's go inside the mall and see what we can find i feel like everything is also going to be pretty picked over or it's going to be a shit show because everyone's in here getting last minute gifts so hopefully i can find something i left the mall i found like one thing that i like for like a t-shirt to throw in to the basket but i didn't end up getting it i just want to look online really quickly and see if i find anything but i just got just salad for lunch and honestly this is hitting the spot i changed the roasted chicken for crispy chicken though just because i feel like it's so much better and i add a little bit of tomatoes i just got home and this is what's sitting on my doorstep connor told me there is some sort of delivery and i'm assuming this is it I just opened the bag and he literally got my favorite, which is chocolate covered strawberries. <laughs> he got me two containers. So there's 12 chocolate covered strawberries here. And then these roses, which are honestly the prettiest color ever. since i picked up my vlog camera so it's now tuesday a week later february 21st and it is the day before i leave for atlanta so i'm leaving for atlanta tomorrow for my cousin's wedding weekend which i'm really excited about i'm leaving like a day earlier than everyone else just to kind of get there and get settled and help out with any last minute things that may be needed so i'm literally going to be running around getting a bunch of errands done today i still have to pack i haven't packed a single outfit or makeup item or just like anything for this weekend the only outfit that i know for certain of what i'm wearing is what i'm wearing to the wedding which i actually don't even know because i have two dress options for that day but I figured I'd kind of just continue the vlog just because I obviously didn't have enough footage from the last vlog. I did not vlog this weekend when Connor came just because I wanted to spend some time with him. It had been two weeks since we had seen each other. He's also coming to Atlanta this weekend, so he'll be in the next vlog. But there's just a lot to get done today, which I'm just like trying to process. But 
it's all gonna get done and if not I have a little bit of time luckily I booked a later flight I'm flying by myself my parents come on Thursday and the rest of our family thing comes between Thursday and Friday so really exciting can't believe my cousin's getting married it's like insane but i'm also gonna vlog this weekend in atlanta and kind of just bring you guys along in the last clip i talked about getting my nails done so i did get those done on wednesday just got like french and like a sparkly chrome they're so pretty i'm gonna insert a video like here on the screen of what they look like with flash on them they look so sick i think they're my favorite set that i've done i should probably make a to-do list but i need to get a new beauty blender because this thing is disgusting and i've like washed it like three times so i just want to get a new fresh one for the weekend and for the trip just because makeup needs to come out a1 i have a couple amazon packages coming in today i want to try and swing my sony clover to get a new makeup pouch because the green one that i used for my last trip was just really small and since i'm doing my makeup and my mom's for the wedding sorry the lighting keeps changing I'm using natural lighting, but since I'm doing both my mom and my makeup for this wedding, I just like need to take more stuff and their pouches are like really big and fit a lot of stuff. So I need that and honestly just pack all my things and I need to tone my hair. So it's like a glow up. Got my brows done yesterday. I have like a little like scab or whatever right there, but hopefully that'll be gone if not doing my makeup. But I need to pack everything. I need an outfit for tomorrow night, maybe. That we might be going out to dinner or something when I get there. I don't think so, though. But I need an outfit for Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday is the wedding. So I need something for the morning or while I'm getting ready. And then Sunday. And then Saturday for the wedding, I'm taking two dress options. So I don't really know what I'm even wearing for that. And this all needs to fit in a carry-on suitcase and my base luggage. I just got to the mall and I did just like little light makeup today just because I'm letting my skin breathe before wearing a bunch of makeup this weekend because I know I have to get ready for a lot of things. And I just put on a little bit of cream blush, which I actually have on me. It's this Nude Sticks Nudies Matte All Over Face Blush Color in the shade salty siren and i just like open it and it's a little stick blush i just honestly quickly popped it on before i took out my camera this is the only case where i'll use the little brush that it comes with to blend it out if not i'll just like blend it in with my hands but i still have my little bruise scab situation from my brows yesterday which i'm sure it'll heal but i'm at the mall i quickly need to run in and get two cards one from me one from my parents for our gift for the wedding and then I want to pop into Sephora really quickly. There's something I need to pick up. I just got home from all my errands and I'm going to put the toner in my hair and then start packing while it's kind of sitting in my hair. But I figured before I did that, I would give you guys a little haul of what I picked up when I was out doing all my errands. So I talked about this serum in the car to you guys right before I went down at the mall and it's the Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. And I talked about it, I think in my Atlanta vlog, one of them, if not both. And I had the travel size, I forget what I got it for from Sephora. And I instantly fell in love and I knew I needed the bigger size, but I was just gonna wait until I ran out of my travel size. And it broke yesterday and so I had to pick up the bigger size of it it's literally 82 dollars which is how you know i really like this serum and notice a difference in my skin because that's so much money for a freaking serum so i highly recommend if you can spend the coin on it and then i went to ulta and picked up just a couple of goodies i couldn't find my like real techniques like individual orange sponge that's like their classic sponge that they're known for so I picked up this little set from like a collection that they have going on and it came with two, a bigger like normal sized one and then one of their smaller ones, which I'm obsessed with the colors of them, <laughs> like weirdly enough. This little blender reminds me of the one from the beauty brand, just like that like neon blue blender that they have and then this one's more of like a neon like green yellow situation so i'm going to take these with me i feel like this isn't one of those like super small blenders that i like couldn't use i feel like this for like under the eyes and like for blush and stuff is going to be perfect so i'm going to pack these and then i also picked up a complexion brush from elf it's their complexion duo it's like a 
shoot for the it cosmetics one and this one's only like eight bucks so i'm gonna try this out see how i like it it has two ends on it so you can use one just like for foundation or for like cream products and then one for like under the eye to like set or blend out your concealer which i've been wanting to try this out so i'm gonna wash this so i can take with me tip i wash all my brushes like the brand new ones that i like buy at the store just because you never know if somebody takes it out of the packaging or whatever so i just wash them to have a clean conscience and i picked up the nyx fat oil lip oil yeah i think this is a lip oil and it's in the shade status update i saw it on tiktok once again very heavily influenced from tiktok and it looked really really pretty so I might use that for the night of the wedding or just like on the trip. And then I went to Sony Clover. Their little packaging and the way that they wrap things up in store is so cute. And it comes always with like this little holographic bag, which I think is adorable. And I honestly use it for like my dirty laundry on trips or just like the stuff in here. But I picked up the large black little pouch. I love their pouches, specifically the large size one. I have it in white for all my tech stuff that I originally got to put my makeup in, but white and makeup and foundation didn't really sound that smart. So I made it my tech pouch and I just keep like all my hard drives, camera stuff, SD cards, chargers, everything. So I'm going to use that for this trip for all my camera stuff. And then I'm going to take this one for my makeup. I used it once for my makeup on a trip with Connor's family this summer and it got foundation on it. So what better color than black and it i just like black and white for like all my packing stuff so that's everything that i picked up while i was out running errands i also have my cousin's like card that i'm giving her but it's in my car i forgot to take it out so i'll probably just show it to you guys in the next vlog or I laid out all my clothes, did laundry yesterday, kind of just in prep for packing today. And so I just packed the dresses that I was planning on wearing for the dress rehearsal and then the wedding. I'm missing one more dress option that I was planning for the wedding. My Skims bra is just in the basic colors that can go with any top. And then I have three pairs of pants, just parachute pants, my tailored pants from Abercrombie, some leather pants in case we go out to like a nice dinner. And then a pair of jeans that are currently in the dryer, so I'm just waiting for those to finish drying. And then I just have a bunch of just basic tops, just short sleeve, crops, some long sleeve, a bodysuit, just options that I can pair with any of these pairs of pants. I packed three workout sets because tomorrow and Thursday I'm staying at my cousin's apartment and they have a gym. And it's a really, really nice gym, so I'm going to try and get a workout or two in. And then I just have a big t-shirt, some sweatshorts, and then two pairs of sweatpants for nighttime and then possibly for travel back or just one day that I kind of want to be like chill and just need it closed for around the Airbnb or the apartment. And then I'm going to pack everything in these packing cubes. I got them off of Amazon and they're the best investment I've ever made for travel. They're, I think the set was like 20 box or so and it comes with two of this big size two of this medium size and then two of the small size i usually just do it in groups i'll do like my pants and sweat shorts and or sweatpants in one workout sets in another and then tops in another and then i'll probably put the dresses together and then i'll put all my bras and underwears and socks in another one so i'm going to kind of just do a montage of me packing it up and fitting it into the little carry-on that I'm going to use, which is going to be that carry-on. And then I'm going to use this just as like my personal bag and I'll stick my purse in here. And then this is also my toiletry bag from Amazon. But I'm going to do toiletries and makeup actually tomorrow because since my flight's a little bit later in the day, I think I want to do some light makeup just for the day and for the flight.
could I please get just an iced coffee with oat milk and two pumps of vanilla in it and vanilla sweet cream cold foam? What size? Could I do a grande? Grande iced coffee. Good morning, you guys. We're in the Starbucks drive through I did my hair this morning as soon as I woke up. I don't know if it looks any darker. I think it does because it's like blending into my black shirt. But I came to Starbucks to get some coffee and a little bit of breakfast because we ran out of cold brew like at the beginning of the week and yesterday I made iced coffee with an espresso and it just didn't feel like making a mess. So I came to Starbucks and I'm just gonna get like a bagel or something because it's 10 o'clock right now and I just wanna get some food in my system and I'll probably either try and pick something up before the airport or something at the airport, I don't really know. It's been a while since I've been and I don't know, I forget what restaurants are, like, are in there. I still have some packing to do. I packed up all my clothes yesterday like you guys saw. I just need to pack a pair of heels. I'm taking my Air Forces, but I'm wearing those. And then I'm just gonna take a pair of running shoes and call it a day. Just, I don't think I need any more shoes just for the weekend but that's kind of the plan. And then, I don't really know, it's kind of it. Oh, I need to pack up my makeup and tour the trees as soon as I get home, because I'm meeting my dad at 11.30, I think, to start heading to the airport. I think I'm just gonna get there a little bit earlier than need be, and I'll just like sit and edit this video or read my book. I was up until 2.30 last night reading it, and I'm like halfway through, I'm on page 200, and I'm determined to finish this book on my flight, and I'm packing like the sequel, It Starts With Us, to read it hopefully while I'm away. I don't know how much time I'm gonna have, but I just wanted to take it with me. I showered and packed my little tech bag from Stony Clover, and there's still so much room, but I just have like a portable charger, my little Canon G7X vlog camera, charger, Alex Earl light, some extra SD cards, my external hard drive, extra batteries, just the essentials that I would need for this weekend. I didn't think I was going to bring this camera, but I think I might just because camera quality is a little bit better.